welcome back to the Iron Man Road to Completion Escape series. Starting off this week with a fletching level. Uh, earlier today I also picked up a cooking level. Uh, maybe two? No, I think it's just one. Picked up 91 there. And this is going to tick me over to 89 fletching. Uh, it's also 24.99 total level, so one more to go there. Uh, it's April Fool's Day over in the UK, and it will be uh, in about an hour here in my time. Uh, so you see this, like, troll uh, message that will miss it. Got a bank standing pet. Uh-huh. Uh, no unlocks at level 89. Of course. But I will note... Uh, that was a little awkward there. Uh, I've burned through all of my U-logs now, so um, yeah, 9,500 U-shield bows, 7,200 magic shield bows, and then uh, 25k maple logs to start working on, and then I've got some in miscellanea as well. Uh, you can also see here, uh, I've gone through a lot of my tuna. I'm up to <laughs> almost 11,000 cooked tuna and 8,300 raw, and then I've got the rest of this stuff to work on as well. Just making a quick clip for today, and completely forgot that I was hitting 2500, so I didn't get to catch it on camera. Um, but there's 90 fletching, and I think I did an agility level 2? I'm not sure, actually. Yeah, something like that. Uh, may have been more than one fletching level. Anyway, on to the next day. Oh, and it may not seem like much, right? Like, I just did some fletching all day. But I made like 8,000 maple short or maple shield bows. Yeah, something like that. Uh, 8 or 9k. Uh, yeah. On to another day with only a single quick clip, but it's a pretty significant clip. Uh, yeah, I'm most of the way through 91 fletching, and I got 91 fletching earlier, uh, but I'm almost out of maple logs down to 900 left and have 26.4k now. I think um, earlier today I had like 12,000, whenever I made yesterday's clip, that is. Um, yeah, I was like 14,000 maple shield bows today. Uh, that's all I did today. Um, I actually need to go claim my miscellanea now, uh, which is something I'll probably clip, but I won't do that until tomorrow, uh, because I need to go to sleep and I need to work on a paper. On to the next day, did some cooking, a whole lot of fletching, so I'm now up to uh, 30.6k maple shield bows, got 6k maple logs left over because I went and cleaned out my miscellanea, and uh, since I'm recording this on the next day, I've got an unknown number of uh, raw swordfish and stuff. Alright, so starting off day 172, I actually did pick up a cooking level, maybe two? No, I think it's just one cooking level, and I picked up uh, 92 last night, get 93 just recently, and uh, yeah, you can see I'm almost out of cooking urns, which is something I'm going to go collect soon. Uh, actually, like, yeah, soon. Um, 2k raw swordfish left, 7.5k raw tuna left over, and then I've got the shark and cave fish, of course. Uh, with 93 cooking, I can now do rock tails, but that's something I'm going to uh, wait for. Though there are two elite tasks which require me to cook uh, rock tails. So, um, yeah, before too long I can go start finishing uh, elite task sets. Um, yeah, I still need a few more levels uh, overall, though. Uh, don't know what else I'm going to work on today. Probably going to finish off this cooking, do this, these urns and stuff, uh, and I might go do some PBM. Okay, so I just realized I must have missed a day somewhere and forgot to tick my day counter because uh, it's actually day 173. So that last clip, you know, disregard the day number on it. And the one before, and somewhere, I guess I missed Sunday or something like that and just didn't make a clip at all. I have no idea. It's like, school is getting to me. Alright, went and did a few daily challenges, turning those in. One's Luminous Memories, which gave me like two and a half Divine Charges. That's nice. And uh, Advanced Gnome Stronghold course. Yep. I also collected myself a lot of, uh, where are they at? 141 more decorated cooking urns. think I need about 600 total uh, to make it the rest of the way to 99 cooking. On to day 174, and now... 
I hit 94 cooking, which is a pretty big one because I now stop burning kfish, rocktail, and shark while using cooking gauntlets. So that's pretty significant. Uh, it means that all of my uh, cooking from now on is going to be burn free. It's going to be guaranteed XP from all of this shark, cavefish, and rocktail. Uh, as long as I remember to put cooking gauntlets, wherever they are, on my preset. So I finished off all of my swordfish, went through all of my tuna remaining, and now I'm onto my sharks. And, you know, because I don't burn them with the cooking gauntlets, it's fantastic XP. Um, and there we go. There's 95 cooking. It's 4 away. Uh, it's also about 4.2 mil away. Um, yeah, decent level right there. I uh, do want to mention that, um, as you guys probably are aware, I've been playing other games on the side alongside RuneScape and doing, you know, AFK skills uh, here and there. Um... I'm thinking about doing other video series, maybe like another uh, one episode a week type thing where I take out an hour or two of one day, uh, just ignore RS, and focus on uh, recording something else. Um, but we'll see where that goes, because um, I know I want to wrap up the series before too long. Uh, I could probably do it in like nine or ten weeks if I really pushed myself, but then I think... Oh, nine 9 or 10 weeks, that's like two and a half months? That's actually still quite a bit of time. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, but yeah, 95 cooking and still doing stuff. Uh, also, probably not another 99 this week. That's just like a... That thing is not something I'm going to worry about anymore. Um, because as soon as I start working on some of the faster skills, they're just going to get knocked out really quickly. Like, well, well more than one a week. Alright, so on to day 175, last day of this week, turning in a daily challenge. Also, why are cavefish so pink? I guess whenever NXT updated their items a few months ago that happened, but uh, anyway, it's a cavefish daily challenge, so it's like rip 200 cavefish. I'm not worried about it because it's pretty good XP. Oh, and I, I need room in my inventory, okay. Let's put those up. I also made some more urns this morning. Uh, but 78k XP, yeah, definitely worth it. Yeah, I don't know what those are, I'll look at them later. I'm about to go eat with my roommate. Um, but yeah, I started cooking cavefish, and you see, I had a, I made about 200 cooking urns, so I can start using up those. And I uh, collected some rocktail with today's daily limit. So I know there's a uh, achievement rework or something like that coming out soon, but I may as well... Uh, go ahead and get these little things taken care of, or the task rework, I suppose. Um, yeah, and gotta go do the Witch Haven dock one as well. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'll do some achievement diaries uh, to start off the next week, just to get some of that XP, and in case there's any, uh, you know, benefit to double completing some stuff, might get some double XP lamps. Uh, probably not, but you never know. Also, I've now completed, uh, let's see, I burnt through, like, all of my supplies, except for a few rock tail. Uh, puts me at 3.5 mil left for 99 cooking, and, uh, where is it at? Uh, about 5 mil away from 99 fletching, something like that. Um, this is Witch Haven, I think. Let me, I, I should, I should check the map, just to make sure. Oh, uh, this takes forever. Yeah, Witchhaven Dock, right up there. Okay. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that's, uh, this is probably where this week is going to be ended off. Um, yeah, just did a lot of, uh, AFK skilling. It's something I was gonna have to take care of eventually anyway. And hopefully I don't burn on the fire. Nice. Taken care of. Yeah, so, um, did a lot of fletching and cooking. And, um, yeah, I've been wanting to knock out some thieving soon, too. Might end off the night by uh, doing some of that, actually. And to end off this week, back to... Oh, eh, eh, I misclicked. There we go. Pickpocket. That's what I was looking for. Getting in those final XP drops. I finished off level 85 and made it all the way through level 86. If it'll tick. 
eventually. I'm, I, c come on. Come on, I actually planned ahead for this one. Like, I was paying attention. Please. Uh, but yeah, with this, I'll be hitting level 87. There we go. And getting close to 4 million thieving XP, which leaves me at about 9 mil to go. But that's just 3 more levels here. A level or two at Dwarf Traders, maybe a little bit more. And then Prif Thieving, uh, pretty much AFK the rest of the way. Alright, let's turn that off. So, it was actually quite a productive week in the end. Uh, though, you know, no 99. That's not too big of a deal. Uh, still pretty good gains uh, between that fletching, the cooking, that little bit of thieving. Uh, yeah, pretty good week. And uh, let me know what you think about me maybe doing another game. I'm also thinking about doing a, um, a vloggy type video because uh, recently my computer chair broke and I have a replacement coming soon. Uh, so I kind of want to show it off and uh, maybe show off my setup a little bit. have to clean up my desk before doing that though. Uh, but anyway, that's the end of this week. Thanks for watching guys. Um, like if you liked it. Alright. See you next week.